the 2018 NFL Draft. The Cleveland Browns select Baker Mayfield. Wow. The Mad Men did it. The Browns found a way for us to laugh at them again. Defying all logic by not selecting Donald or Rosen, they picked the cocky son of a bitch from Oklahoma because they haven't tried doing this exact same thing a few years earlier. Baker Mayfield's career, here it is this weekend. It's the biggest game of his career. This weekend they play Tennessee, and it is a precursor to the playoffs because Tennessee is the kind of team, the new GM in Cleveland and the new coach in Cleveland, they need to beat going forward. Tennessee is a very good team. From them? Nah, I think they're still the same Browns team up every year. I think they're nameless great faces. Um, yes, they have a couple good players on, on their team, but at the end of the day, like, we, I don't know, like, it's, it's the Browns is the Browns. The Browns is the Browns. The very famous last words of Juju Smith-Schuster. This year, Cleveland proved that they are a legitimate Super Bowl contender moving forward from the 2020 season. With a first time winning record since 2007 and a playoff appearance for the first time in 18 years, the Browns didn't just sneak into the playoffs, they made some noise. With two of the top 10 best running backs in the league and the best offensive line in the league, I see no reason for the Browns to not run it back and make a Super Bowl run next year. I mean, hell, if it wasn't for this play right here, they'd probably be in the championship game right now, preparing to face the Buffalo Bills. Sorry about that one, Browns fans. But on the bright side, this team averaged 27 points a game, had a couple of miracle plays like the one you're watching right now. They didn't do it with a cakewalk schedule either, including the playoffs, they went 5-4 and four against other playoff teams. So how did this happen? Well, it all starts with the head coach, Kevin Stefanski. He inherited a team that had immense talent on both sides of the ball and was able to see that talent be fully achieved. Let's go to Pro Football Focus to check in on the talent of this team. Baker Mayfield was the 8th best quarterback this year. Nick Chubb was the 4th best running back. Travis Landry proved he's a top end wide receiver. Three of the starting offensive linemen were in the top 5 in the league and another one was in the top 10. And that's just on the offensive side of the ball. This offense is talent wise comparable to the greatest show on turf. Like the greatest show on turf, I think that they'll end up with a ring. Now let's look at the defensive side of the ball. They have a top end edge rusher in Miles Garrett, a top 10 safety in Ronnie Harrison, and they even have a Super Bowl MVP in Malcolm Smith. So the question is, what do they need to do to get over the hump and make it to the Super Bowl next year? Well, according to OverTheCap.com, the Browns are set to have around $24 million in cap space. Although Olivier Vernon and Rashad Higgins are definitely going to be demanding some of that cap. I do think it would be beneficial to the Browns if they go after an outside linebacker in free agency like Shaquille Barrett, who did help the Buccaneers produce a lot of turnovers this year. Every major offensive player is under contract for the foreseeable future for the Browns. So my opinion is moving forward, they should be looking to improve the defense, specifically the linebackers and corners. Because when it comes to pass defense, they are the sixth worst team in the league. I think with a slightly better defense, this team is going to be up there with the Chiefs and the Bills in fighting for AFC supremacy. You have the ring. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Now let's see how well you handle it. Dark Helmet does have a point. They are on the talent level of the Browns and the Chiefs in my opinion. They just need to show up and win big games next year. And I think that they will no longer be the same old Browns. And here's what you have to understand. We don't even expect you to be good. We just want you to be watchable. Do you have any idea how low our expectations are? You are a factory of sadness! The expectation is higher now. Now, it's Super Bowl or bust.